Alrighty, three, two, one. Welcome back to my tenth installment of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 playthrough, and I will not waste anyone's time to get right into Let's this thing. Break, guys. And we just need to rest to continue with the story. Honestly, my throat's killing me a little bit here, so please bear with me if my voice sounds a little off, or if it's a little hard for me to talk at times. Ah, there you are. I don't want to either, but... Aren't you on tent duty today? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I'll head back and... <laughs> what? It's all finished. Huh? We already packed it all up. <sighs> then what was the point of telling me? Don't you have better things to do? Hey, you owe us one. <sighs> I'm just joking. Are you okay? What do you mean, okay? These last few days, it's been a lot, right? That's why you're concerned? Yeah, you got it. We were worried. Your problems are our problems. Just because someone says they're doing okay, doesn't mean everything actually is fine with them. You know, there's a word for people like you. Hmm? Busy bodies, all of you. Now, Tyrant, that is completely uncalled for. No, that's definitely called for. Uh, huh? You two really must be bored stiff. Good grief. Everyone and I don't know I was watching Peanuts. Good Mind grief. Entertaining to you. <laughs> I'll allow it. Hey, that watch. Our lifetimes run for ten years only. But this pocket watch has already lived for longer than that by being passed from Nimue's hands to mine. What Guernica said to us on that battlefield. I don't know what you made of it exactly, but frankly, to me, it was a load of nonsense. Not even enough to push us together. Hmm. But that's changed. If Nimue's life is represented by her dreams, then in remembering those, I carry her life with me. Perhaps now, I can give a purpose to my life. She'd live on if I were to pass her dreams on to others, right? Heavy. Also, I've done some thinking. If I had just, say, ten more years, no, even five with just a bit of borrowed time how many more memories could i fit inside this little pocket watch and that's why you're here now that's half of it what's the other half then oh uh, well in fact just forget it oh come on You've already told us that much. Might as well give us the whole story. Th this is just not the place or time for it. That's Any time is talking time, really? Tyon. Still, it was a nice chat. Dreams in objects, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's got such an adorable smile, doesn't she? Thanks, Tyon. We came here to cheer you up a bit, and got food for thought instead. Oh, sure. Anytime. Leo. Yeah, she's a cutie, isn't she? And now we're all just done with whatever the hell that was going on there. I take it we go up here instead. Wait a minute. You know, uh, hold up. Let me go back down here for a second. Just see if I can level up to rusting. Let's make the most of our break, guys. Yes, I can. We could be in for a shot. Gotta be well prepared for the journey now, don't we? I definitely feel stronger. 
Man, so it's got a hell of a range, dude. Careful not to accidentally hurt each other now. Where to from here? I'm trying to save in the camp, but I guess I'll just save it from over here instead. It's good to keep a record. We'll have to climb up here to exit the Great Falls area. You know what? I'm gonna try to fight this guy over here. Uh, this game is quite good and more old Jack. Uh, I take it you don't have the game yourself if you're asking me this. Do you have this game yourself or are you actually thinking about getting the game? Because I'd recommend it thus far. Okay then, uh, uh, besides this game, do you also happen to be interested in playing the other Xenoblade games that also happen to be on Switch besides Xenoblade X? Yeah, they, all right. Is that the reason why you like to play them? Because they look good. Like, I mean, hey, that's a perfectly valid reason for you to want to play the game. I mean, I often like a game that looks good. You know, something that isn't a complete eyesore to look at. So, like, this game's actually pretty nice. Even though I'd argue the second game looks better. Oh, hey, it just looks fun to play. All right, if that's your reason for wanting to play, then go for it, man. Full power. You got sixty dollars on you. Go pick it up. I mean, it depends on if you really want to play the other ones or not, like, to not exactly to understand the stories, since I don't think they're all that connected. But if you want to, for a sense of how the world works in each of the games separately, and maybe get to see some fun references, too, then again, that could be another reason for you to want to buy the game. Like, um... Take my reasoning, for example. I merely got this game because, hey, I enjoy Zero My Conquest. Like, I barely played the first game, got it the same day Pokemon Legends Arceus came out. As, oh, what's my favorite Xenoblade? Uh, well, let's see. I can't exactly say the first Xenoblade, as I just said. I barely played it. Alright, I'm in the middle of this one, as you can see here. I'm only on Chapter 4. Now, if that only leaves Xenoblade X or Xenoblade 2. Well, that's says Xenoblade X was my first Xenoblade game. And that one had a lot of fun combat mechanics and junk going on. Definitely a pretty decent story, too, and open world stuff, enjoyed it very much. Well, Xenoblade 2, definitely the visually, visually best looking of the Xenoblade games, mainly because of the anime style, I just really enjoy the way it looks. But the battle system in that game, as I've stated in previous videos on this channel, yeah, specifically the Xenoblade 3 videos, it's very complicated, but it's super fun once you understand how it works, and not to mention the really annoying gacha system 
in Xenoblade 2, which requires a hell of a lot of grinding if you truly want to get all the blades, which actually, on my save file, I still haven't gotten all the blades. And Xenoblade 2 is my third Switch game. But, um, other than that, the combat in Xenoblade 2 is super slow, even when you understand it, which I understand why it's that slow, because of how, because of how, uh, much damage you get into doing what you understand the battle system. But that still makes it extremely tedious to get to, especially when you're first starting out in the game. So, between Xenoblade X or Xenoblade 2, I'd argue X is a bit better. So I'll go with that one as my favorite Xenoblade game, which is on the Wii U. I'm wondering why the hell it hasn't been ported to the Switch yet, or at least sequel to the Switch. Why aren't we getting a Xenoblade Chronicles X2 instead of Xenoblade 3? And then not to mention the story in Xenoblade uh, 2 has definitely got a lot of good going to it as well. Now I'd say Xenoblade 2 has the best soundtrack of all the Xenoblade games even though. I mean it's kind of hard to tell but I literally have no sound coming out of my monitor right now so I can't tell how the music sounds on this game. I'd have to listen to it separately. I still haven't figured out getting sound out of my monitor yet but Xenoblade Chronicles 2 definitely has the superior uh, soundtrack to Xenoblade X. Man you're making me talk a lot man. My throat's hurting a little bit but um <laughs> anyways I could keep going. Uh, but like some songs in Xenoblade 2, Incoming, uh, uh, Torn of Fight, <laughs> Yes I Am, and Elgato, given to me by my older brother. Even though I also have a Razor capture card that I wanted to use for my PS4, but I haven't gotten around to that yet, but I don't even think I need it. Better just sell it, and just keep using the Elgato even for my PS4 whenever I finally get around to connecting that in. But yes, uh, for, uh, spoiler alert, yes I do plan on playing PS4 games on here. Just haven't gotten around to that yet. Yeah, I take you asking me this because you'd like to get yourself a capture card too, right? Alright, so you want to play, alright, so, um, by possibly anything else, what other games do you think you wanted to play on your Switch? Jesus Christ, this motherfucker's kicking a ball out of dusk. Dust. <laughs> This squirrel? No, no, it's fine. Oh uh, man, uh... Did you hear my question again? If you didn't, I'd like to ask it again. What other games are you planning on getting for your Switch, judging by that uh, other previous statement of yours? I mean, if you don't want to answer the question, that's fine. Anyhow, 
I'm in my little sim in a fuck that squirrel. It's not that hard as you can see here. I, none of my party members fainted. I, I wouldn't consider it all that bad compared to another fight from earlier in the game. Oh yeah. Still think this game's easier than Xenoblade 2. As, as I've said before, Xenoblade 2 having a much harder to understand battle system in this game is probably why this game is a much simpler battle system and a hell of a lot more party members. <laughs> Alright, so, on your Switch, you did just state you had Fortnite and Killing Floor, I've never heard of Killing Floor, and I take it Breath of the Wild as well, which actually I have Breath of the Wild, but haven't played it much since I bought it. Now, I don't have as much time as I like to, thanks to um, a certain something I've got to do with my life I'm trying so hard to get off my back, but I'm not going to get too far into that. Hey, yo, um, K, is that whatever, K05, I'll just, if you're okay with me calling you that, how is your day going? Going good? So it was mine. It was just streaming, um, well not streaming, doing a little grinding of Pokemon Legends Arceus so I can finish the rest of the game. But, uh, enough about me and what I was doing my day. How was yours, Kate? Call me Crit. Okay, Crit. Yes, Crit. Alright, all right, all right Crit, how's your day? Crit? Uh, hmm. No, this, no, sorry, Immortal Jack. Just the other viewer over here saying, call me Crit. Because uh, it was a little hard to pronounce his name just now, but... E... Uh -huh, yeah. Oh, I see you two are just interacting, yeah. Uh, if you want to keep interacting, I'll stay silent a bit. Oh, this motherfucker! If I can climb up the ladder with it, with these guys want to fight me, yeah, good thing they're dropping like flies. Wait, you tell me language or him? I mean, look, man, on my stream, I, I curse quite a bit. I mean, if that's too harsh for you, I'll try to censor myself a little bit. Because there's a fun little thing I kind of do with my mother sometimes, where instead of saying a certain curse word, I'll say something that rhymes with... Look, I'm okay with you guys cursing, but I don't need you guys fighting in my comment section, okay? We, we all need to get along here. We don't need no negativity. We already all have enough of that in our daily lives. So just get back, have some fun. We can have some friendly conversation, not this thing. Crit, calm down, dude. I'm afraid I'll have to kick you out, even though I don't know how to do that, and I'll figure it out. Just calm down and have some happy conversation. If you want to curse in my comment section, go ahead, okay? Because I curse a lot, too. Just don't be cursing at each other. Curse at the, curse at the squirrels instead. Thank you. It's nice that you two could come to at least something, or at least one of you could. You know, to break this little tension of ours, what's your favorite Switch game for, an for either of you? For me, I've got quite a lot of favorite Switch games. Yes, I can tell. Just, if you're in rage... Look, nobody needs to be fighting, okay, you two? I get you're a little enraged. Just, I don't know, go drink some water or something. They might calm me down. I always eat something when I'm a little enraged. Hell, you should have saw me streaming Pokemon Legends Arceus yesterday. I was trying to catch the forces of nature. And freaking, I was getting super angry at that. And, yeah, I'm afraid I don't play Fortnite. I don't have any plans on playing that. Thank you. It's nice that we all can come to a little conclusion. 
But yeah, I, uh, sorry, Crit, I don't play Fortnite, sadly. I, honestly, I don't ever plan on it. It reminds me too much of Call of Duty. But I do like the kind of Hunger Games-like concept with it, though. Even if, even if I'm not entirely fond of Hunger Games in itself. Now I'm gonna figure out how the hell I'm supposed to get up here. No, I mean, it's got Hunger Games like... It's got Hunger Game type of um, elements in it is what I mean. Not exactly a game of Hunger Games. Like how y'all starting at the same... Well, at different points of the island I've seen the gameplay of. Hey, Blockbuster hasn't existed where I live since 2012. But anyways, yeah, Call of Duty, you're never, sorry, Craig, you're never ever going to see me playing Call of Duty on my channel, dude. I, I hate Call of Duty. I've got a lot of bad things with that game. I already, like, uh, in one of my Legends Arcus episodes, a friend of mine from high school was, uh, asking me if I liked it, but I was like, nah, dude, I'm really not a big fan of it. For multiple reasons. A lot of stuff, especially pertaining back to elementary school, which at that age, why are any kids playing Call of Duty? Like, you're all like eight years old. So, and without going into too much detail, that's part of the reason why I never play Call of Duty. You're with this. I don't know, man, if you want to keep thinking that. More details on the Earth being flat, you mean? Or it being round, or as I learned in my Earth Science class back in high school, an oblate spheroid. If you want to look up what an oblate spheroid is specifically, since it's not exactly a perfect sphere. And gee, I didn't know we were in the middle. Yet yeah, neither of you get too crazy. How about that? That sounds like a good solution. Now on Hunger Games? Well, I watched the Hunger Games movies. Excuse me for my late reply there. But, eh, still not the biggest fan of Hunger Games, even though the concept is okay, I guess. Alright, here we go. Sora's ramping up. Everybody get your popcorn. Get what you need. That? That's Keves Castle, alright? First time seeing it. Yeah. Same level of elaborate as Castle of Agnes. Can also see Great Sword on left. Are we going through with this? No. I see it's far too risky now. The area will be under strict guard. But down slope, we could go via the forest. And ooh woo? Oh. Doesn't sound too bad to me. I'm kind of unfamiliar on how to do that. Is that supposed to be a Twitch chat special thing? Because if so, I'll try to look up how to do that. I can learn something. Or well, perhaps I could just type it to you. I think. I'm not entirely sure how this works. Oh, ho. where? Hell, never been this far in before. Me neither. You got your ooh. The last time I had an audience with the Queen, she had come in person to the war front. Alright, so you know, speaking of Switch games, hey, Crit, do you happen to play any Pokemon games on your Switch or Smash Bros?
Commander Ethel, Fornis forward, Army's Colony 4. Reporting in as ordered, Your Majesty. It has been some time, hasn't it? Ma'am, I'm elated to find you in good stead, Your Majesty. That you would grace us with your presence is an honor above my station. We can dispense with the stiff preamble, Ethel. Oh, you got a PS5. So, I, are you watching me on Twitch through your PS5 right now? watching on your phone. Alright, you know what? Since you brought a PS5, well, I'll, I'll talk about the PS5 real quick. I don't have one right now because I only have a PS3 and a PS4. Well, also a PS Vita and a PSP sitting next to me that I ordered recently. Oh, you're on your phone as well. I am Mortal Jack. Okay. But, um, I'd like to talk about the PS5. Because there are a few PS5 games I'm looking to get that are, but they're also, except with the exception of, um, Ratchet and Clank Rifts Apart, the other ones I get I can already get on the PS4, so I'm trying to wait for more games that can come out on the PS5 that aren't already on PS4 or Steam. Because what the other games I wanted to get besides uh, that new Ratchet and Clank. The new Lego Star Wars that I recently released, Elden Ring and something else. I don't remember, there's something else I wanted to get, but those are the only games I'm really looking to get on there right now. That's why I haven't bought a PS4 yet. Because I'm like, most of those games I can already get on PS... Oh, I mean PS5, because most of those games I can already get on PS4. I mean, hey, Immortal Jack, if you think it's a Fortnite machine, that's cool, but I already told you my view on Fortnite. Her Majesty has a soft spot for them. Please do not think ill of me. Hey, I got three viewers. Thank you to three of you. Oh, wait, my favorite sport? All right, before I answer your question, that's the most viewers I've had in one stream so far. Thanks to my three viewers. But anyhow... My favorite sport? Okay. Back in elementary school, I always said baseball and basketball are my two favorite sports, but I also did track and cross country back in high school, so... And I still do running even after high school, and in the middle of me trying to get back to my college stuff, which I'm not going into that detail. But still. So I'll just say basketball and baseball, just like it was back in my elementary school days. That way, if I had to mention an honorable mention, track and cross country, just because I did not back in high school. If yeah, that's your favorite team, uh, like, I'm not very well sport uh, versed into whatever the sports media is going on today, but can you please tell me which team the Cowboys happens to be on, like, which sport they're playing? My favorite baseball team? All right. I mean, I don't really watch baseball, but it's just a really cool sport to me. So I guess no baseball team. I don't know. Uh, list me a list of baseball team. NFL. I'm saying an attack like the one you just witnessed can be delivered anywhere. So you mean to use this weapon against Agnes? Uh, if you're to use this, then what about the clocks? Who said anything about using it on Agnes? Mom. The next target will be this. I mean, Rangers sounds like a pretty cool team. Can't get mad at that. I mean, they ain't no Power Rangers, but hey, it's still cool. <laughs> Thanks, my man. And, her, and, and cheers to even more viewers later on. <laughs> Go, go, Power Rangers! <laughs> so that shit alone makes me want to go buy a Power Rangers game. <laughs> What's this now? <sighs> Alright. I mean, hey, I was having too much fun talking with you guys to pay attention to the story, so... Hockey team? Oh, I don't really watch hockey either, but... I mean, hockey was the thing we used to do in gym class back in elementary school.
That's the closest I've ever had an interaction interaction with hockey stuff. Watch the moss, guys. Mind you don't slip. Yeah. yeah, nice going, Lance. <laughs> he says, falling flat on his ass himself. Oh yeah, bloody hilarious. You're always taking the mick out of me, Noah. Huh? Did you say something? Oh, for... don't come crying if you fall. You seem like you're a million miles away. Lot on your mind? Yeah, kinda. <sighs> uh? Uh, Mio! Ah, uh, thank you. Are you okay? Yeah, I just lost my foot in for a second. Yeah, I don't think she's okay. She looked like she was sick or something. Now. Oh no, she's dying. Her little life cycle is almost over. Not feeling a hundred percent. Yeah, like definitely that. not. I don't I'm do sorry, porn. I like I said, I just missed my footing. Seriously, you two are at your throats again? You Look, worse, do you get say. here? Um, well, let's see. Since one of you doesn't own a switch. I don't know, can find it out in an online game or something, not in my voice chat. Good lord. What children you two are, don't act like that. See, man, we don't watch porn in this chat. Porn's for losers. Thank you. So what was on your mind earlier? Yeah, that light. Thanks, you two. Like, as I've said before, we gotta have ourselves a nice little positive stream here. If one of us ain't positive, none of us are positive, okay? It been something that Mobius did. Huh? We know hey, Lord Bear Gaming sounds pretty cool. Mm. Tyon, you told us before that our consoles were actually the same. Yeah. <laughs> I, did say that. I mean, look, instead of, here's an alternative from the P word that rhymes with corn. Uh, look, how about you learn to, like, I, I take it you're male, right? And I hope you're heterosexual. Look, don't ask me, don't ask me that question. Read it yourself. But anyways. It could be that all the fighting, it might be that it's all orchestrated according to Mobius. We don't need arguments, you two. Jesus Christ. Anyways, instead of the P word that rhymes with corn, I take it you're male, right? They must really hate us messing with their. Or you not male? I mean, it could be wrong. If you are okay with telling me which gender you are, male or female, please tell me so I can give you a little bit of advice. So I would say doing in the you know in real life is a lot better than doing it through a screen. Okay, that's another thing I think I should lay down in my chat as well. None of that, there are three different genders things. You're either male or female. That's that. You can't follow that rule, you're going to have to get kicked out, because I can't stand that politically correct garbage. Let's make the most of our break, guys. Clean your body, clean your mind, I guess. Just male and female. So, you know what? Continuing what I said before, I'll just assume you two are male, and hopefully that doesn't offend you if you actually happen to be female. But, uh, if you're male, walk outside and talk to some chicks, male. Let's see if they're, like, feeling them out. Let's see if they're in you. Ask them a few questions. Hey, what's your name? Uh, take it. I'm Sperry. You're looking quite cute. What's your name? Lots of you and you go on a little date. And if things happen, and then try to get flirtatious on those dates, whether you go down to a, a, a Starbucks or something. <laughs> yeah, we're not getting into that. Because <laughs> honestly, that's some, I'm assuming you're a dude, so that's some gay shit, and I'm not answering that. But, uh, go on a small date with chick, try to well, try to see if she's in here, if she is, do a little flirtatious touch, and like, as I start from her back down, maybe, or even touch her thigh a little. Just being flirtatious, friendly flirtatious. Let them know you're into her, but you gotta be straight with these things. And hey, if everything's good, you can always whisper in your ear and go, yo, let's go down to a hotel or something. 
And after that, if she's alright with that, the rest is history. A hell of a lot better than looking that garbage up on a mobile screen or a computer screen. Screen. Yeah, only if you're female, crit. If you're male, no. Cause yeah, no. If you're male, I'm gonna have to kick you out of the stream. We don't we don't do that gay stuff here. Do that to somebody else's stream, not mine. And thank you, Immortal Jack, for having my back, because... No, like, if you're a dude, get the hell out of my stream. We don't need that crap here. Uh-huh, sounds like you're making fun of me, crit. Well, I was doing college, but as I said before, I had to take a break from it from something else. And gay, dude, just being gay isn't natural. If you want to be gay, stay away from me, please, especially if you're a dude. That's all I have to say about that. Thank you, but honestly, that little uh, statement of yours before seemed like you were making fun of me a little bit there. Not entirely sure to answer that mute question there because I'm not mute as you can tell I'm talking. Something so valuable here. Is that oh, whack him good? You know, to further reiterate on my on your little college question there, yeah, I had to take a break from it because my current jobs make me do a bunch of crazy 12-hour shifts so I couldn't get my assignments to a good place. And I'm really trying to get the hell out of that job already. It's just... And honestly, here's one of my methods of doing it. I'm trying to make a living off of uh, Twitch. Which, hey, by each step I get closer and closer to that. Man, those Mobius mooks but what I was doing in college... Do you two happen to know the College of Full Sail University down in uh, Florida? Oh, what a sick joke. Their word for people like that? Know what Nopons say? No idea. Tell us. Super villain pon. Riku, what does that mean then? It'd be the extreme bad guy. Ah, I think I get it. Mama? What's up, Manena? Then. Oh, now we're with me, and friends, super villain pawn. You're labeling us. I uh, know, I've. Uh, Moral Jack, I'm gonna get back to your question about me being tall. So. Depending on what you're doing. Like, what you two arguing earlier before? I was tolerant about that because I mean, you two stopped after a it's bit. Not like we ever had a choice or anything. But then when you're doing garbage, like making fun of me or something, or, so or saying gay sure. stuff like what Crit said earlier? Yeah, uh, no. None of us ever that I can't tolerate. To. It's just how it works. How people worked and the world. So, the world is super villain pond. Huh? Since it make everyone do nasty things, world is bad guy. The world is bad. Huh, I never thought of it like that. Now that you mention it, what in the world are we even here for? <sighs> I wouldn't strain your brain too much. Sounds like you have. What gave you that idea? Cut the snark, just tell me. The end point of it is suicide. Oh no, not suicide, Ty. Don't do if it, you man. To hurt others, you'll end up denying your own right to survive. Eventually, you come to the conclusion that the world may well be better off without your presence. The only resolution then is to erase the self, to die. See, pointless. Isn't that taking it too far? The world doesn't just vanish because you've closed your eyes. What? The moon. 
think about it. Why is it that the moon shines? I don't know, Nero. Why do birds fly? Hey, anybody know that reference? Even if humans were gone, it would shine on, illuminating the land beneath. And yet, we're the ones that give meaning to it. We say bit dim tonight, or looks brighter than usual, eh? Similarly, we can now imbue the world with meaning or change it. It's a privilege we were lucky to obtain. And that's the power of Ouroboros. We're obliged to use it. We can make a difference. So we don't become super villains. That's one thing to aim for, at least. Right? Mr. Ronar. This is something decent, right? Wow, my throat's still killing me. Whew. I mean, I thank y'all for making me do all that talking. Certainly helping me uh, become a better streamer, but damn, this is this my throat hasn't been feeling right today. But they'll they'll make that. I uh, don't feel bad about it. I can still go on. Keep going. At least for another uh, 45, 50 you minutes. Sure we're going the right way, Mm, well, it's a path, at least. Looks like it's going to be a real pain getting through here. True, but we don't have the luxury of loitering. Well, I don't see any other road to take, so let's just get this over with. By the power of friendship, I nearly sacrificed myself. It's totally not girl Rex. <laughs> okay, got a whole team of ninjas over here. What the? An ambush? Uh, weapons, quick! Weapons, quick! I'll suck your girl with weapons, quick! Alright, what do we have here? Natural sel- <laughs> Natural selection. That's not a- That's totally not a controversial title at all. That's no good.
Oh, it's Charles again. That was nice I'll talk to those two shrievers, but we don't need any of that toxic talking here right now. Chat, just do it somewhere else. You know, we're bringing that weird gay shit into my chat. We don't need that here. I just realized there was blood coming out of these dudes. Oh, you're back, Crit. Well, get back, my dude. You calm down a little bit. <laughs> you're cracked. All right, my man. Let's keep enjoying some Zeta Blade Three together. Oh, you weren't angry from before. Oh, then excuse me for asking that. Uh, why don't we continue this off with a little question of the day? What is your, in any game you've played, what is the hardest boss fight you've ever dealt with? And also, this thing's name is Landslide? Okay. Okay, any boss fights in Fortnite that may have been the hardest, or maybe there's a specific player you went against that's hardest. Why don't we have a little story time for that, if you're alright with it. A uh, guy by the name of Ninja. Okay. Um, if you'd like to share with the class, what made this ninja guy so hard for you?
just this ninja guy. Actually, it's pretty funny because he's a ninja guy that makes him very difficult. Hey, ninjas are pretty hard to take down. But actually, you know, speaking of the topic of um, first-person shooters, the only first-person shooter games I ever really get to toss about were Halo, Splatoon, and I can't wait for Splatoon 3 to come out, and Overwatch, which I actually have Overwatch on my Switch. Do you, you happen to play Overwatch? <laughs> yes, I've been told that I have a very uh, good sense of humor and am a very funny person, quite a lot, actually. But, um, if you please answer my question, do you, ha do either of you happen to have Overwatch? Which, I don't know if it's in, not an actual bear. <laughs> I wish that was the case, but no, not an actual bear. It's just, oh, you don't have Overwatch. All right. But uh, speaking of bears, Spare Bear was actually a nickname of mine back in high school, middle school, and elementary school. So that's kind of where I got my channel name from. Yeah, uh, sad we can't play, uh, Overwatch then. Alright, do either of you two have a, a Game Pass account? Like, if you have a PC that's going. Because I also have the Halo Master Chief Collection that I haven't played yet. Favorite bear. I just say the Grizzly Bear purely because of a project I did back in the fourth grade. Just for nostalgia purposes. You like polar bears? Okay, then. Valorant. I take it that's a first-person shooter game that's on your... Alright, you have a Switch, right, Immortal Jack? Was that it? Because you were the one with the Switch and Crit had the PS5, I believe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's what you think, my dude. But we're not going to get into any uh, racist stuff, okay? No racism in my chat either. And I guess that's something I'll have to do for my channel. Setting some ground rules. Thanks for you two. Thanks, thank you two for um, showing me that. Alright, so you do have a PC. Do you happen to have Game Pass? Immortal Jack. Yep, none of that. Please and thank you, Crit. If you want to talk about that stuff, do that in somebody else's chat. Yeah, if you don't like Microsoft Immortal Jack, that's the power is yours, dude, and I'm dead. For one of my heal oh, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> I mean, of the three big gaming jobs, Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft, I am the least partial towards Microsoft. Alright, if that helps my uh, chat out. Thank you, Crit. We're not looking for trouble. Alright. We just want to pass through. We're not looking for trouble. Come on, guys. What's your problem? Juniper. Uh, what the hell? Oh, my Jen is, uh, is at her limit. She can't keep going. Favorite Marvel character, you say? Well, I've always had a thing for Spider-Man, but recently I have been playing, uh, what am I calling? Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, specifically, yeah. On my, uh, PS4. And uh, some of the Marvel villains I've been looking pretty partial towards, like Shumagarath and Taskmaster, especially Taskmaster. Honestly, I was want to get a Taskmaster costume just because of that. But still. That's cool, Mortal Jack. I mean, hey, it's better than yelling in my comment section, however you two need to duke things out. Alright, Spark. Well, and we could have had their lives too, so close. Ah. Very That's very unfortunate. We'll, we'll have to retreat then. What was all that about? Hey, that's what you think, man. Go on ahead and prove it. What was that all about, weirdos? Noah, what's wrong? No, what's wrong? I was just thinking. I was just thinking. About that archer. About that archer? They seemed quite the formidable, oppo a formidable opponent, to be sure. That's true, but... That's true, but there was something, there was something else, about else about him. Say, them. you don't think... Say you don't, say, say you don't the think. Soldiers flame clocks. The soldiers' they flame clocks. Low. They might be getting low. Oh, come on, Noah. You'd better not be thinking... Huh, so you learn something new every day about bears. Interesting. I mean, you say brown bears, but I'm guessing that's synonymous with gr grizzly bears? Oh, come on, Noah. You'd better not be thinking of offering your assistance. It's hard to put it into words, but something's off. And you think we have time to be 
traipsing around on this whim of yours? It really bothers you? It really bothers you? Yeah. Yeah. Give it up, Tyon. Give it up, Tyon. Uh, nice. Like uh, once no Noah uh, like uh, like this, there's no stopping him. Oh, why do I bother? Why do I bother? Besides, besides, Noah's intuition is usually pretty on the mark. You just take a look. A you don't just take beak. a look. A teeny. Why don't we take a look? A teeny little beak. Fine. Fine. Yeah, I can see. Uh, no amount of reasoning is going to dissuade you. Uh, however, if it turns out to be nothing, we head straight back and move on. Acceptable? That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Okay, let's move. We should be able to catch up to them if we follow their track. Get that out of my chat, Immortal Jack. My God, dude. You gotta be more mature than that. I don't need to know that you're doing that. Just seriously. Keep it in your pants. What the hell, dude? Get off my chat and do that real quick if you want to do that. What? God damn. In certain quests, characters will leave behind footprints that can be followed. Pay close attention to the ground and follow where they lead. And I'm down to two followers. I guess he took my advice. Good. Cause that's just nasty, man. You can be doing that on people's streams. Noah, you know how folks are when their flame clock runs low? They'll come on us like starved beasts. Yes, uh, take your comments off my stream if you're gonna talk, do, doing, talking dirty like that, really. Okay, I'm just interacting with an empty space. Huh, cool. Well, suddenly I'm playing a Scooby-Doo game now, yay. We're following the tracks, we're solving mysteries. And this is where the tracks end, I think. Oh no, they keep going. This dodo looking thing sitting down here. And this, the tracks keep going though, where are we ending there? Judging by how the tracks stop here, it seems that this is where the soldiers pass through. Still in here? But how? Doesn't look easily uh, transceivable, transferable, does it? Yeah, I can't get, I can't see us getting across there anytime soon. Uh, we could always take a detour, look this way. Yeah, thanks Tyon. Like I said, we can't afford to be hanging around here. Come on, we haven't got it all day. You alright, man? We gotta hurry. Wait a minute. Or am I supposed to go through the zip line? Oh no. I don't want to accidentally fall now. Because fall damage is a thing in this game. There's a random ass treasure chest sitting down there, but I'm not gonna go get that right now. Yeah, we'll just take a safer route. Now, before I continue, I should say. It's good to keep a record. Now, if all, if all my dear viewers are enjoying what they're seeing so far, I'd appreciate it if you followed, please, and thank you. And this content also gets posted on YouTube, so if you'd like to watch even more of it, go look on my YouTube channel with the same name as this channel. This is crazy. Where was a colony here? There was a colony here? No way, do we get ourselves a new hero? That's right. That's right. This is an abandoned, is an abandoned colony. colony. Please listen to Please, us. Please, listen to us. We, we, do we don't come here, here to fight, fight you. you. Mm. Uh, 
We can free you from your flame clock. We can't free. We can't. We can free you from your flame clock. Free us. Wait, you can free them, but not yourself. Why? Free us. You don't have much time left. On you don't have much you. time left on you. We can oh, do you? you with that. We can help you with that. So if you just stop attacking you. Stop attacking us. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. All right. All right. Now you out. Ah, uh, oh, thank you. Please. Please come in. They're still wary of us. They're still wary of us. We can't down. let our guard down. Good to add more names. Colony town. It's the colony that's not numbered. Makes more nor the other colonies from one to twenty nine are besides four and twenty and nine. I've seen a few colonies with dwindling flame clocks before, but this I've one seen a few colonies bizarre. with uh, dwindling flame clocks before. But this one is especially bizarre. It's like they're not trying to survive. It's like they're not all. trying to survive it here at all. Do you get that impression? Do you get that impression? Back when I was stationed at Lambda. Back when I was stationed at Lambda. I had heard rumors about Colony Tau. What did they say? What did you, what did they say? That deep in the forest, that deep in the forest the colony there's a colony with some very, with some customs very particular and customs and traditions. This is my first time seeing it. This is reality. my first time seeing but in reality, but I so never expected down. it to be so run down. Did you have any dealings with did it? You, did you have any dealings with it? None at all. Not at all. This is just this is just air safe for Commander Sue. Anyway. We should hurry. Anyway, smash we should hurry. And free Let's everyone. smash the flame clock and free everyone. It being an abandoned colony, it being, we are it being an abandoned colony, we are continually starving uh, sufficient life sources. Wait, wait, are you the commander? That's right. That's right. Sorry, I failed. Sorry, to fail. I Sorry, I failed to tell you before. To I'm Juniper, and this is my job to lead Colony Tao. That's if that's then so, surely then surely you must know who we are. I'm afraid I know nothing. I'm afraid I know nothing. Huh. We have no need of such information. We have no need for such information. Juniper told us we would welcome you in, whoever you might turn out to be. So that's the rule. So that's the rule. Don't we don't ask questions. But you attacked us back there. Our scouts told us about, scouts told us about the some monsters in the forest they'd never seen before. So we, we sent them on a hunt. But that can't be us. But then they Much bumped into you, you and Root. You the they must have figured out it'd be more efficient to get you out of the way first. Well, contrary to our plan, we, to our, to our plan, we were made to retreat. Oh, yeah, because yeah, we beat the shit out of you. I mean, oh yeah, what about your council? Where are they at? I told you, this is, I an, told you, this is an abandoned colony. Our council, really our council rarely visits us. You're in such a strange situation. You're in such a strange situation. All the more reason to get you out of this predicament. I think you guys are getting the, I think wrong, you guys are getting the, the wrong end of the stick here. It's true. It's true. We, are, we, are, we aren't afraid of the colony tower's flame clock running out. All it means is the end, of our, days days is is the end of our days gazing at our ever diminishing supply. But you can't. But you can die. As if we just let you waltz uh -huh. and break our As if we clock. just let you waltz in and break our flame clock. We all have to perish someday. We all have to perish someday. If our Why are you just expire, accepting that? Then we'll sink into silence. Darkness, if our lives should expire, oblivion. then we'll sink into silence, darkness, oblivion. We'll return to the earth. We'll return to the earth. And earth exists in this universe. That's bullshit. Yes, but... Yeah, that's what. You, you can't, can't just. The land will take us. The land will take and us. We will simply and be. we will simply be. That's how it is at Colony Town. That's how it is at Colony Town. No one will ever think of us. No one will ever and think of us. And yet here we are. And yet here we are. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely, we are with her. We don't always find we the nutrition that we need to live. We don't always find the, the nutrition that we need to live. If Colony Town cannot accumulate the vital flames it needs, uh, it cannot it proves accumulate only the vital flames it needs. And it proves only that we were too weak. And in nature. That in nature, the weak are destined, uh, uh, destined to perish. The logic would dictate that nature is pushing dedicate you to become stronger. The nature is pushing you to become stronger. If we set you free, you won't have to worry if about. We set you free. You won't have to worry about all this crap. We neither worry nor fear for what may come we to pass. We neither worry nor fear of what may come to pass. We've already lost so many of our. We've friends already lost uh, so many of our friends and allies. Every time. We Every time we ruin the their air. bodies to earth, such will be our fate. Such will be our fate. That's the point of fearing the inevitable. That's the point of fearing the inevitable. We know we're gonna die. 
We know we're going to die. Living the way what's, we what's wrong have. with us living the way we, we how always have? How do you live without hope? It will spell the end of the story. It will that spell the end of the story that our predecessors weaved for short. generations. The tale is cut short. I would argue that it feels a little melancholy. It feels a little melancholy. In that sense, in that if, sense we if we were to be freed from the flame clock, clock, then. Juniper! Bad Juniper, news. bad news! Tell me. The monsters are coming straight, the for, the are coming straight for the colony. They already, took, they already took out. They already took one of us down. They down, came all us the way down here. here. No, they they came all the way here. They came all the way we'll here, guys. You. We'll join you. In a second. Good to add more names. Yeah. Juniper, we need, Juniper we need orders. This is perfectly fine. We'll defeat them right here. This is perfectly fine. We'll defeat them right here. Juniper. Juniper. What are you? What are you? Ask us later. You ask us later. We'll back you up. We'll back you up. Thank you. Thank you. I'll fight, fight to the best of my ability as well. Here we go. Here we go. Oh boy, I'm under leveled. Okay. Yeah, Juniper's an attack type. Oh, cool. And my healers are dead. Ain't that fun? Well, you can always rub it up next time. No need to get negative. That's one thing I can actually kind of enjoy about this game, just a little bit. Is uh, that if you lose, you can customize your team a little more to fit the situation you happen to be in. You need more damage, get some more attackers on your team. You need to take more hits, get some tanks on your team. You need more revivers, get some healers on your team.
Arrow sizing. Die. Someone need to heal me. Yeah, because it's hard coded to have Juniper in this fight, so. Welcome back, Crit. How was your little break? If you're wondering what happened since you were gone for the, yeah, about 20 minutes you were gone, I take it. I'm having a little trouble with this boss fight over here. So I might have to grind a little bit. And hey, Crit, if you're enjoying the stream, please give a follow. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out. Seriously, quick and respect the rules, why can't you? Thank you. 
because if you're gonna direct that talk to somebody, you're directing at the enemies of the fighter. <laughs> I mean, it's not a turtle, I think it's a weird rhinoceros looking thing, or a dinosaur, I don't know what the hell it is with that spot. You guys have an idea I want to do for this channel at some point? I try not to live challenge on a Pokemon Nuzlocke. Where I try to play some memes, and I try not to live, but spoiler alert, I'm pretty easy to make laugh as you can tell right now, so I probably have a really high chance of losing that, but fuck it, it's not fun. I guess I'm gonna do a little grind and this is gonna suck. Well, we can get through it. Yes, I noticed I died. Alright, I'm gonna have to do a little grinding or something. Cause that's the third time I've tried and uh, yeah, I'm not getting very far with this. Well damn, that already helps. I mean, these boss fights are still far from worse than the ones in Xenoblade 2. The ones in Xenoblade 2, whew, I can't wait to play that game on this channel. That's going to be fun. Because a lot of the boss fights in that game are garbage. Yeah, there's seven characters here. That, that's just how the battle system in this game works. You, got, you get to choose from six main characters, and your seventh member can be a change of various different characters. Here, let me show you. They're, they're known as these heroes here, which, uh, which act as your seventh party member. I mean, in a way, they're kind of in the inventory. I can, well, depending on the scenario, I can call them whenever I want to. But as you can see, the little lock here, I can't exactly do that for the story event. That's just how the battle system works, man. And that's a, and like, hey, if you don't like that, then go talk with one of the devs at a Nintendo. I don't know whose decision that was, but even then. Now, uh, Shulk and Rex, I don't know if they show up in this game. Well, judging by some weird downloadable content, looks like they will at some point. But I mean, hey, seeing Rex and Shulk show up would be really da damn badass. Or even seeing Elmore from Xenoblade uh, X show up would be cool. That's what a uh, Xenoblade 2 DLC did in the past. I don't doubt the same thing would happen here in the future, since this game's only been out for about two weeks now. We could do with some food. Well, good to know that I can level these guys up a bit to help me out with this fight. Definitely feel stronger.
looks good to me. No bad job. Gems done. No bad job. Okay, good as new. It's good to keep a record. I'm all refreshed and ready to take on the world. All right, now that we did a little bit of leveling up, we should try that again. Okay, well, we doing this. My train of thought is if I can at least kill one of these or also I with the things, or I know I guess they're called, then this fight should be vastly easier. Just take out just one. Tremendous damage to this one.
All right. Looks like my strategy is more better. Reach the two sets yet. Reach the two That annoying boss fight is over. Gim's okay. Gim's okay. Thank the flames. He's still alive thanks to the flames. I'm so glad we made it in time. I'm so glad. I'm so glad we made it in time. I'm so glad. Yeah, it took us a few tries Again, to make it on time, but we did. Thanks. We couldn't have done Again, this without uh, you. Except my thanks. We couldn't have done it with this without right you. It. Don't worry about it. <sighs> I suppose it's strange of me to talk I suppose about it's the laws of nature to talk when about I fear the losing my friends. When I feel losing my Not friends. at all. That's Honestly, that seems like Honestly, the most natural thing. Honestly, that seems like the whole and the most natural thing of all. When you told me that you would release us from yeah. the flame club. When you told me that you would release us from the flame club. I thought that, I thought that if you really were telling the truth, really were telling it would the make truth. life easier. Make life but easier. At, the at the same time. time I began and to hate the, the fact that I was looking, looking up at our clock, looking up at the seeing clock, the life at ebbing our clock, away. The life I'd already accepted away. my fate. I had already accepted and my letting fate. Go of that and letting go of that, that status quo, uh, so wretched throw, it was. was. Scared of what might happen After so long, I was scared of what might happen if, I if we did. Should have brought her. Your, no, words at the your words time all the time so appealing to me. <laughs> at the time, seems so appealing to me. I could not destroy the collective I, effort that became I could the colony not and everything it represents with my own two hands. And everything the universe represents with my own two hands. But then you said you would destroy it said you would destroy it for us. We'd be guilt-free. We'd be guilt-free. If guilt that free. isn't appealing, then if what that is? isn't appealing, then what is? You must have been aware of how tragic it is to simply await death. You must have been aware of how tragic it is to simply await death. That's why you invited us. That's why you... You invited us, isn't it? Even now? Even now, I'm not afraid of dying. But I hated the idea of losing but those I, I hated dear. the idea of losing those I bear. When I, I saw my dear. friend lying when there. When I saw my friends lying there. I remembered what you told me. I remembered me, what you told me. For a brief and for a brief moment, moment, I felt the grip of the fear. I felt so weak and helpless. I felt Yet so at the same time, I didn't want to let go of my dear friend. At the same friend. time, I didn't want to let go of my fr dear friend. So I must have closed myself so off. So I must have closed myself off. I stopped thinking. Closed my eyes and covered my ears. Perhaps I was simply waiting for the inevitable release. Even so, we have to keep thinking. That's right. Even if there are things we'd rather not see, we still need to look. I'm breaking out of your shell, scrambling in desperation of a way to escape despair. That's not what I call being weak. You defended this place for so long. Why? Because you're strong. And once you're no longer shackled by the rules of the flame wall, you can accept a different reality. You can become stronger still, I know. We can. We can. You can. It won't be easy. Far it won't from be it. easy. Far we'll from help it. you. But we'll help you. Juniper. Juniper. It's your, it's your call. call. We've made it this far thanks We've to you. We've made it this far thanks to you. Yes. Yes, I, I suppose, suppose so. If there is if a possibility there is that a possibility you can release us from the clock, then please. Release us from the clock, then please. If not, it's not like anything's changed. And if not, it's not like anything changed. <laughs> <laughs> Very, true. Very true. If you can't, if you can't break, break it, it, I can live like that, nothing too. Changes without a reason. Nothing changes without, without a reason, without a cause. Perhaps this event will Perhaps teach, me to, event will teach me to see things in a new light. Here we go! Yeah, uh, no one's spot. Noah's spine is broken after that. I see acceptance is actually surprisingly easy when it comes down to it. I see acceptance is uh, actually surprisingly easy 
when it comes down to it. I think it probably is. I yeah. think it probably is, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry if this seems rude, but could I oh, ask so, another I'm favor so, of I'm you? sorry if this seems rude, but could I ask another favor of you? Sure. Sure. I'd like to learn much more I'd of like the world. I'd like to learn much more of the world. Become a strong individual. individual. To that end. To is that there end, any is there any chance I could accompany you? What do you say, guys? What do you say, guys? We could certainly do with someone of Juniper's caliber. We do, do with, do with uh, someone of Juniper's It'd caliber. Be reassuring to have you on what board. did she even do? She didn't prove much to you, man. Enjoy. What do you mean caliber? Caliber. I'd be... It'd be reassuring to have you on board. We're very welcome to join. Is your colony gonna be okay? Is your colony gonna be okay? Can I get on without no. you? Can I go on the next one? Colony Tower needs to undergo change, needs to, too. To undergo change too. We need to extend our knowledge and, and We grow. need to extend our knowledge and grow. So I'd like you to take me so I'd like you. I said I'd like you to take me to a trip. Somewhere far away and, some, and show me something new. Uh, journey of discovery, huh? A journey of discovery, huh? I guess that's, I guess another, that's another thing, thing we need in order to grow. Might be an idea to send some of our younger recruits out Might be an idea to send some of our younger recruits out too. It'll be a good lesson. It's time to breathe new life it's into our colony. It's time to breathe new life into our colony. Let's break free from the chains, that once, from the chains that once bound us. I guess I'm still hanging about, though. I guess I'm hanging about, though. About Can't have us all gallivanting about the place. Your console really doesn't bother to show your up. Console, huh? Your console really doesn't bother to show up, huh? Even after we broke the flame Even clock? Even after we broke the flame you clock? You'd think they'd know. You'd think they'd know. Better this way if you ask Better me. Better this way if you ask me. Still, we shouldn't rule out Still, the possibility that they'd make trouble. Still, we shouldn't rule out the possibility that they'd trouble. If something happens, you tell us immediately, something happens, okay? you tell us immediately, okay? Sure, can do. Sure, we can. We'll be counting. We'll be counting. Well, we don't have all day. I think it's about well, time we made we don't have all day. I think it's about time we, we uh, made tracks and hope. You're right. Time to move then. Uh, you're right. Time. To, yeah, you're right. Time to move then. Well then, everyone. Well then, everyone. Ah, don't worry about us. No, you know don't worry about us. You, you know we can handle ourselves. We'll prove that Colony Town we'll prove that can be so much yeah, more. Yes. So much more. Yes. Yes, I'm sure, I'm sure it will be. Off you go then. Skedaddle. Off you go then. Sk the colony skedaddle. Right the, here, the colony's getting right here, waiting for you to return. <laughs> Natural selection. Colony Town's flame clock is no more to tell to Bob and Gary Juniper decided to join the party. You can now slide down. Uh, I fixed ropes. Oh, now I can Sonic Adventure my ass down one of those ropes. Alright. Ooh, and I can use this. Nice. I've been needing a new attack class. Class Stalker, roll attacks. Damage, uh, deals low damage to individual targets, but excels at managing aggro. Work with allies to make good use of the our fall field. How? This is an attack skill. Why does it do low damage? This is a traversal skill that Juniper taught the party. It lets you grind on ropes set up on the field, allowing you to descend smoothly and quickly from high places. With the art of flow taught you by Juniper, you can get arts into other arts without using fusion arts. Successful case it fills the chain gauge slightly.
power. You found power. I got a new trick up my sleeve. I got a new trick up my sleeve. Good to add more names. Hmm. All right, now that I've done a little customization, we can rest down a bit. My stomach's growing. Can we get a bite to eat, please? We could do with some food. Mmm, delicious. Okay, who the hell eats a salad with a knife? Can't wait to see how Manana prepares it. It's good to keep a record. Are we all ready to fight? Good to add more names. Make sure we're well rested. Definitely feel stronger. Ah. It's good to keep a record. Personal hygiene is every soldier's duty. Let's keep things on a tight loop. I see some relations have changed. All right, we all regress to the story one more time before we end this off. Sonic Adventure 2. Time to take the fast way. Yeah. Take my lead. I'll set you free. Follow me. Okay. Ah, wait. I jumped away. Oh, God. Ah, uh, shit. Everyone. <laughs> I broke my legs accidentally. Um, that was really a test run. None of you saw that.
container. All right, let's try this again. Oh, this time I got it. Yeah, you want to do that again? Play some Sonic Adventure. No, where did this come from? Careful, here it comes. Imminent illusion. Mysterious Raider. Well, I see what Juniper does. Makes it a lot easier to do that. Hmm. Alright, time for a chain attack. I see that was done for story reasons. It, it disappeared. What just what just happened? It's likely they're being pursued, but I've never seen a Lemnus like that before. It could be a new model. I don't think we get very far just uh, theorizing about it. Let's hurry on ahead. Fair enough. 
but we should stay on our toes until we leave the woodlands at least. Quest completed. The series of has disappeared. Returning hence it came. Well, what is the significance of his arrival in the first place? Hey, look, man, use that trusty frying pan of yours into a drying pan, okay? Alright, looks like there's a camp up ahead. Everyone has an emergency. What's up, Manana? Man, I cannot. Man, I cannot go on like this one extra step. I look on the wall like this. This is a BS. Why now? We've been walking since Colony is out. I suppose if we can find a good place, we'll set up camp, okay? Eh, we need more dinner. We can be strong a little longer, can't you? Ah, uh, just a little. Fine. I mean, I'm very, very starving today. We need to make dinner soon. Everyone wants to help cook. Sure. Well, I'll be happy to chip in, right, guys? No. I'm curious to see what tactics you have in place, surrounded by so much. Okay, nature. then. Well, I'm well, not gonna rush just together. yet. I'm Just so we can do a little leveling up, a little sure bit of other well stuff, rested. and then we'll end this episode off for today. What the hell are these two doing? Well, Juniper is the only one here who can't level up. I definitely feel stronger. Yeah. All right. And I think we shall save. It's good to keep a record. Yeah, well, and I believe that concludes today's episode. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you liked, and uh, th actually, before I continue, thank you, Immortal Jack and Crit, for all your discussions, whether they be positive or negative. And thank you all for helping me to the channel. Now I know a few things I can put into this to improve it just a little bit. Anyways, depending on which platform you're watching on, Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, whichever, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow, do whatever you need to do to support the channel. Thank you again for watching and see you in the 11th installment.